So today I'm going to be doing an RECD on a four and a half year old girl. She's waiting outside in the waiting room for me. And what I'm going to do is do as much of the procedure as possible without her. Because she might come in and be a little bit noisy and distracting and the parents might have some questions. It's a really nice idea to just get everything ready as best possible. So what we can do without her in the room is calibrate the SPL60 probe, which is what I'm going to be using for her RECD today. And I can also perform the coupler portion of the measurement. Then I'm completely ready, everything's done except for the ear measurement. So I can then bring her in, perform the ear measurement, and then we're ready to verify the hearing aid, which again is something that we could do with her out in the waiting room uh, so that she's not causing any distractions or making any unnecessary noise. So this is the SPL60 probe. In order to calibrate it, you just need to place this tip in between the two markers so that it's held against the microphone. And then you can hold that in front of the speaker whilst the calibration sound is being played. So that's the calibration complete. Now we're ready to perform the coupler portion of the RECD measurement. So what we need to do is just place this inside the coupler like so. And we are ready to press start. On the Affinity screen, it talks you through the steps with images to show how to get everything set up. And that's the coupler portion of the RECD measurement complete. Now we're ready to bring our patient in and perform the ear portion of the measurement. I'm going to try a blue one. So Ivy, what we're going to do, yeah. you see this little blue mushroom here? Yeah. I'm just going to pop it in your ear oh. and you're going to hear a funny sound. Yeah. But your job is to stay super quiet and still, like sleeping lions. Have you played sleeping lions before? Yeah. Yeah, so you're going to be a sleeping lion, but you're going to be standing up. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. So this is just going to go in your ear. You hear a funny sound. It's going to take one, two, three, and then we'll take it out and we'll be done. All right. Okay. Fantastic. Just move your lovely hair out of the way. Lovely stuff. Here we go. A little tickle in your ear. <laughs> Fantastic. Well done, that was it, give me a high five. Yay, good job. We're now ready to insert the hearing aid into the test box. Because the RECD was measured using the SPL60 probe, we need to connect the hearing aid to the ear molds and then use acoustic putty to attach that to the HA1 adapter. This is then connected to the coupler like so and we're ready to run an aided response at a level of 65, which is a moderate speech intensity, and verify the hearing aid. Once we're happy with our verification at 65, we can move on to verify at 55. This represents the softer components of speech. Once 55 has been verified, we can move on to present a loud intensity, a level of 80. Once we're happy with a level of 80, we can move on to run a sweep at 90. This ensures that we can check that the hearing aid doesn't exceed the patient's uncomfortable loudness levels.